welcome back to Digital Dashery. With 4K and HDR being one of the hottest trends this year, I thought I'd end 2018 with a review of the BenQ EW327OU 32-inch monitor. BenQ was kind enough to send this unit out to me for review, so let's dive right in, go ahead and knock out the specs. Now, although the monitor is marketed as a 32-inch monitor, the actual display size is 31 and a half inches, and it has a screen resolution of 3840 by 2160, a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, a 60 hertz refresh rate, 20 million to 1 dynamic contrast ratio, a 3000 to 1 native contrast ratio, and a 4 millisecond response time. All this is housed in a VA panel that features Ultra HD 4K technology, 10 bit color depth, 300 nits of brightness, flicker free technology, and covers 95% of the color gamut. The design of the monitor looks good, yet the bezels are about 10mm wide which is a bit large for a monitor in 2018. Taking a look at the ports, the monitor has two HDMI ports, one display port, one USB-C port, a 3.5 aux port to connect your headphones or external speakers, but the monitor does have two down-firing 2 watt speakers on the bottom that produce decent sound. A few of the unique design features are the ambient light sensor in the front that automatically adjusts the brightness of the monitor to the conditions of the surrounding environment. There are two buttons on the lower right front. One lets you toggle on and off the high dynamic range feature, allowing you to achieve the brightest whites and the deepest blacks. The other button is for BenQ's brightness intelligence feature. The monitor comes with a stand that enables you to slightly tilt the monitor forward and back, but you can't raise the monitor or rotate it on the stand. It is VESA compatible, so you can always mount it on a VESA enabled monitor arm. The monitor has five buttons that let you select and control the display options. Personally, I just like clicking through menu choices this way, but navigating through the options are fairly easy. There are a host of customization options available. I mainly use the monitor to edit videos, and this includes color corrections. And since this covers more than 95% of the color gamut, this works awesome for fine tuning colors and making sure that my videos turn out nice. Watching movies on a monitor using the HDR technology was nice, yet their 300 nits of brightness really don't do much since you need at least 1000 nits to take full advantage of the HDR technology. For gamers, the monitor's 60Hz refresh rate and 4ms response time could be a drawback, but utilizing AMD's FreeSync technology should prevent any choppy gameplay. Overall, I think the monitor is a great buy. At a cost of just $5.99 on Amazon, you really can't beat it. It's great to edit videos and watch movies, and I had no problems connecting my Amazon TV Cube and taking advantage of the 4K HDR technology. Although I was unable to personally test it out for gaming, other YouTubers in the gaming space didn't have an issue with it. I'll try to link a few of those videos below. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for me. If you like this content, please hit that like button, leave a comment below, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is Digital Dashery. We'll do this again in 2019. I hope you have a dope new year. Watch.